So folks, I had a couple of uh, my friends uh, test this bike. Uh, they had um, these uh, same VTRs uh, and uh, they pointed out uh, two things uh, for me. So first that, is ha that this bike has uh, weak weaker brakes and then the second thing that it pulls uh, slightly to the right. Uh, or you have to have uh, the uh, handlebars turn it a little bit to the right to uh, drive it in the straight line. Uh, there can be two uh, possibilities of this problem. First, uh, this bike for the last time it uh, crashed a little bit on its uh, left side. So maybe the handlebars are turned in uh, on the left side so you have to compensate it to uh, the right side. That's one thing. Uh, the solution for it is easy. Loosen this nut, loosen those uh, nuts here, just spin it a uh, little bit to uh, the left, uh, to the right, I'm sorry, and uh, it's uh, repaired. But the other thing that I noticed is that this wheel has a ton of play in it. Can you hear that? And can you see the tire moving? So this thing uh, has a play in the bearings. And my theory is that when you hit the throttle, uh, this wheel has a tendency to uh, steer to the left, so you have to compensate it by steering to the right. But that's just my theory. Uh, let's uh, test that, that theory and uh, fix uh, those bearings, change them out, and uh, see if that's uh, going to uh, get us where we need to be. So let's fix this problem. So here we have the new bearings for this thing. Um, I've got um, those two bearings that go uh, inside uh, this uh, hub here, inside this wheel. Uh, these uh, came up to like three bucks. This um, one bearing cost a dollar and fifty cents. So uh, these are really, really cheap bearings, but um, they are made in Czech Republic, so uh, they are re really good bearings, really cheap and really good. So if you came across this brand, don't be afraid of it, it's a really good brand. And then uh, there is the bearing that's inside uh, this um, hub for the sprocket. And this bearing is a special bearing and um, this bearing from Honda is like 45 bucks uh, on the internet even uh, is that's even um, pricier if you want to uh, buy this thing um, in the parts shop in the um, in the bearing shop uh, so what I did here is that I bought uh, this NTN bearing this uh, 63 slash 22 bearing and this bearing is uh, almost the same as this one. The only uh, difference in those bearings is that this bearing is 17 mm thick and this bearing is 16 mm thick. So what I'm going to do is that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna put uh, the 1 mm shim inside the hub here on the bottom here I'm gonna put a one millimeter uh, shim to bring this uh, bearing up a little bit and so it compensates uh, this uh, this bearing here so uh, let's get these bearings out of this wheel I don't it's not showing on the camera but this bearing uh, this outer bearing on the brake side is was bad 
and this bearing is bad so um, let's change those and uh, get that thing back on the bike since I am under equipped and I don't have a shop press I'm going to be using uh, those two pieces of wood and uh, old uh, long bolt to drive the bearings out so now I'm going to uh, use that old long bolt uh, this, this is a bolt from uh, I guess uh, swing arm or something like that uh, I've got a ton of those things laying around and I'm going to uh, use a hammer and drive uh, that bearing out one bearing's out flip it the other way and drive the other, out, the other bearing out as well and here we go bearings are out uh, let's uh, press in the new ones garbage also uh, don't forget to uh, put this inner tube back in when you're doing this job like a glove so now um, let's put back the seals uh, I'm not uh, changing those seals because uh, this thing is on the budget and um, I have to save every penny that I can so I'm putting back the old seals you shouldn't do that but yeah I have to so the old seal is back in let's uh, now finish this I have to go make that shim and then it's assembly time one thing that's a little bit different on this hub is usually you have uh, a little bit of a slot drilled right here or somewhere along the, the, the diameter of this because uh, that way you can get uh, a punch or anything to knock this bearing out and this race is uh, round all around so um, I had to um, beat this bearing uh, on its lip uh, on its inner lip so uh, that's what um, yeah So, uh, with our shim down there, it's time for this final bearing. As you can see, there is not much of a difference between those two.
you get the point. And now the old seal. Let's get this rid of this old crappy lube and put this back in. Like this. I almost forgot this spacer. Let's go right here, so don't forget the spacer. Now uh, let's put back uh, these rubber uh, insulators. Uh, uh, if you don't know the way how to put them back, usually they leave a little bit these, these little dot marks. And on the bottom you have those dots, so just line those dots two on two, one on one, so like this. And this is your uh, cheap and easy way to do your wheel bearings on 1998 or any Honda VTR 1000. So let's uh, put this uh, wheel back there on the machine and uh, I hope that this was our issue with the pulling to the right, so yeah, but I don't I don't think so, I don't have uh, high hopes for this, so uh, let's grab this wheel and put it back on. When you are alone and you are uh, trying to get this uh, bolt through that wheel, that's really pain in the ass, but no play at all. So uh, now let's take it for a shimmy around here and we'll see how it goes. So unfortunately uh, those bearings did not uh, solve our issue. My other thought was that uh, the front wheel is not perfectly in line with uh, uh, the handlebars. So what I did is uh, I'm going to show you on the bike. Uh, I loosened the triple clamps everywhere that I can. So I loosened uh, the upper uh, piece right those two bolts uh, those two bolts those two bolts on the lower part and also this um, center nut and I tried to uh, center the wheel uh, with uh, the handlebars but I think now the wheel is uh, straight and the, hel the handlebars and this, this, this triple clamp as you can see is uh, is more like this than this so uh, I tried uh, I could not get it uh, to to budge and um, the bike still pulls a little bit to the left so my other thought was that if when you uh, depress uh, the front uh, shocks you can hear a little click coming out maybe from the, tri the bearings on the triple clamp or maybe from the f uh, front wheel itself but uh, I can't test it I have uh, this um, this stand that you're supposed to use uh, under the triple clamp but uh, this is useless uh, you, c you when you tighten this nut all the way this just folds like this and uh, it can't hold any weight uh, so this is useless. I tried uh, to weld a support beam here uh, that didn't work out. Uh, maybe my welder is uh, gone or I lost uh, some welding skills because um, I could not penetrate even on the hardest setting the metal here as you can see the welds broke uh, clean off and I don't know what it is uh, I welded uh, this this frame here and that's that's all good I welded this this whole door frame by myself and that's holding very good but uh, this and uh, a couple of things lately uh, mainly the bolts on uh, the on the ignition switches uh, maybe the, the welder is gone, I don't know what uh, the deal with this, but I can't, can't weld no more because I, uh, my weld doesn't stick uh, 
either on this or those balls. So I I doing something wrong. I have the uh, the welder on the hardest setting. Uh, I have uh, the wire on. Uh, there is a 10 uh, 10 scale uh, wheel, so I have it like on five or six. So I think I have it uh, pretty hot, but uh, the weld doesn't stick. So, uh, so let it be um, the warning for all of you. Uh, don't do uh, the things like I am doing and test drove these bikes because uh, then uh, you will not end up with uh, bikes like these. So um, if you're around Czech Republic and you want this bike for, for 1200 bucks, that's what I currently have in it with those uh, wheel bearings and so on. So <laughs> holler at me and I will sell you this bike. Uh, it doesn't pull very much, it's, uh, but you have to hold it to uh, run straight, so... That's going to be it for this video. As I said, test drive the bikes before you bought them. Don't be like me and you save yourselves a lot of money. So, until then, be safe out there. I'm out of here. Bye.